viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Hey guys, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Happy Friday. I know I haven't been here for a couple of days, but I thought it was time to come on board again. Thank you for joining me. Appreciate the support very much. Got a couple of things to share with you guys I'm really excited about. First of all, got to pick up this little brat right here. Because he won't let me do my video if I don't pick him up. I got the new improved slug here. For my brother Jose at Dark Sanctum. Look at that beautiful stand, brush stand that is. It fits all kinds of brushes. I'm really happy with it. This is the copper color. And I'll be putting down pictures in the beginning of the video. You know what? In the end of the video, so you guys can see this. It looks very beautiful with your brushes mounted on here. And it fits almost all. all brushes on here i tried and you, you know you guys know i have a large variety of brushes and i can't tell you that there was not one brush that did not fit on this slug stand here my brother jose calls it the slug real beautiful design very clean cut 3d 3d printing that he makes out of his home small business here in san diego california very 3d printing dark sanctum official.com i'm putting down the uh the links below so you guys uh, can check out his beautiful products variety of colors guys if you guys are into different color uh for the uh for the stands beautiful that was a brush stand this is my razor stand in the large very clean cut as i'm saying i'm telling trying to explain to you guys little debris there on the bottom but look at that guys very beautiful clean cut precise 3d printing from jose at his home thank you my brother very much these came out very beautiful this fits a medium to large razor right straight razor let me put in our pictures towards the end of the video and this is the low profile stand which can hold the brush right there in the mid in the uh, round part of the stand and your and your soap right here. You'll be seeing the pictures in the end of the video, but you could also put a round uh, aftershave on here as well and a brush soap. So it's either you're choosing a brush or a uh, aftershave round only bottle, but it's mostly made for the brush stand and the soap for the pictures of the days. For photography if you guys are into taking shave of the day pictures Yay. like i do myself on instagram and my brother jose really honored and really privileged that he had put down the uh el chingon deluxe set or el chingon deluxe bundle which you can get all three of these for 37 dollars he's throwing in the slug stand Shh, let me talk the slug stand brush low profile stand and you get the he, he throws in the razor stand of your choosing Me, small medium to large for 37 dollars that's a great deal if you ask me stop hitting me no hitting daddy i know you're excited but don't hit daddy you need to learn to not hit he's getting really bad on hitting stuff but yeah guys this is the chingon bundle set if you guys can uh if you guys want to check it out and are interested, Daddy. I'll be putting Daddy. down the big link down below in my video Daddy. description. Please hit up Daddy. Jose and uh, if you're interested. Daddy. They're beautiful, Daddy. precise, Daddy. 3D printing Daddy. stands Daddy. that I like very much. Daddy. They came out great. I'm trying to support my brother Jose. Thank you guys for the support. Got me a new sheep towel in the den from Lancaster Shade Works. Razor works, I mean, excuse me. Lancaster Razor Works. He also does shea brushes. Beautiful shea brushes. 
So I decided to pick up this beautiful green uh, color towel. And if you guys haven't known, Andre's uh, sheep towels are amazing. They soak up water really quickly and they dry off really quickly. The water on your skin and on your hands and whatever material you're using as of hardware, you can wipe it with this here and it's, it's awesome guys. This is a really great towel. Very thick, very durable. It's very thick and it soaks up that water really quick and it dries really quick. Thank you, Andre. Andre. And he also uh, painted the, uh, the uh, this is like a keychain leather thing, but he stamps it for his uh, towels so you can hang it. it. Snaps on really nicely. I got a gray one in this color as well. It was time for me to get a different color. I wanted the red also, but I went with the green. But uh, yeah, really nice. He colored the uh, leather really nicely and you can hang this really nicely on a hook here, which I do have right here underneath me or a uh, nice towel rack that has a hook and it looks beautiful guys. He sold out really quick on these. I don't believe he has any more, but I had to get me a uh, Lancaster black sheep towel had to thank you Andre very much for your service and for everything that you do brother if you get to see this I really appreciate you thank you very much but this is what I've been waiting for all week guys and I know you guys will know what it is as soon as I show you the sticker on the back this is from Frank Misa I strike old shave shave like a president as you see there the logo for Frank his presidential line for shave soaps that's usually on his presidential line for shape soaps, but it's, it was also it was also uh, a logo that he dis he displays on his web on his web page and uh, for his brand, awesome. And uh, Rafa at Chicano Designs designed that logo there. Can't wait to open it. Be waiting for this. First of all, I want to say cheers, guys. I'm gonna be drinking a Choco Vesa. This is made from a stone brewing company. And this is a uh, imperial style Mexican, inspired by Mexican hot chocolate, which is great taste in brew. This is a uh, imperial style. And it's brewed with chocolate, coffee, pasela peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. 8.1, 8.1 alcohol volume, 12 ounce can here. that I'm gonna be cracking open. And I went to the store today and I went to go buy Junior a uh, costume for hot tomorrow for Halloween. And uh, you, guys, you guys will be seeing that soon. I'm not going to spoil the fun today, but you'll see it tomorrow. I went to a thrift store and I saw this very nice uh, stone brewing cup here. I had to pick it up. It was very cheap as well, too. I like it very much. I don't have, this is the first stone uh, cup that I have, glass cup. Planning to get me more in the future. But uh, cheers, my brothers. This is to you guys. Hey, no. Stop, stop, stop. No, a uh, bad idea with Junior here. No, you can't taste that beer. It's too, it's not for you. It's for daddy. Here, let me pour it. Do it with your toys. Doesn't let me do anything. This is nice and cold right out the fridge. It says stone right there, if you guys could see that. Really nice cup. The emblem here is in gold. And that's the gargoyle. The uh, logo for stone. Cheers, my brothers. That's a great tasting brew. I like it very much. Has like a chocolatey color to it as you can see it's made with coffee and chocolate cheers you are so bad he took out the uh the folded towels that i had here and he dropped them all on the floor 
You are so bad, buddy. <clears throat> Clean towels on the floor. <coughs> this is bedtime. You should be going to bed. This uh, break the seal here. Thank you once again, guys, for your support. Really appreciate you all coming to 500 subscribers. And, uh, really happy because of that. Because of you guys. Thank you. I'll be doing a giveaway too. But I just don't know how to do it. A lot of people aren't subscribing. I don't know why. It just happens. I get people that subscribe at a, at a later time. I get subscriptions, and the next thing you know, they don't subscribe me, and I'm like, why, you know? I don't understand, but it happens. But I'm going to be doing this giveaway a little different. I'm going to probably have to reach out to my worshiping brothers to see what's the best way I can do it, since I have a lot of subscribers unsubscribing. I want to make, sh make sure it's going to be fair when I do the giveaway. But you guys probably have a, a slight clue what this is. This is from... Frank Misa, Strike Gold Shave, like I was mentioning earlier, and uh, Jennifer Martin, Mexican Bubbles, great soap artisan. I love her soaps very much. Big fan of her uh, soaps. Big fan of Frank's as well. They do a great job together on collaborating together, making these awesome soaps. And here's the uh, product here. That I've been waiting for all week. I ordered this last Friday, I believe. And it sold out pretty quick. But this is a, uh, a, a scent that's inspired from uh, Tommy Bahama. That is no longer available. It's discontinued. But this is uh, it, guys. Tell Scream for my Strike Gold Shave. As you can see, they're Jason. Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, and uh, Jigsaw from Saw. You are so bad, dude. Wow, you are so bad. He got the towels and you unfolded them all. You are so bad. <laughs> Collaboration with... The Jet of Scent, Drew from Monkey Tropical Adventures, Mikey from uh, Sarasota Wet Shaver on Instagram, Frank Misa from Strike Old Shave, Jennifer Martin from uh, Desican Bubbles, the maker of this soap here. This is five ounces of soap, handmade in Georgetown, Georgia. Quality shave soap. And this is in a new Patriot base, which has uh, Tassila Silk. The scent here is very light, to my opinion. It's not very strong. I say maybe about four and a half, maybe three and a half, three and a half, four strength. Maybe I'll pick up when I lather it. I'll be shaving with this pretty soon. But it's a nice, pleasant scent, and it smells like something I wore back in high school. <laughs> very fresh smelling. <sighs> Let me see. Come here. Come here. Come here, you soap, mate. Soap, soap smeller. My little soap smeller, buddy. Okay, here we go. Let's see if Junior likes it. Like it? <sighs> Come on. Smell it. Come on. Hey. <sighs> Come on, smell it. Come on, smell it for daddy one time. Yo, black. Yeah, this is a four strength in scent. It's not very, uh, you guys know me. I love strong scents. This is a uh, four cent strength. It could pick up some when I lather it, but I'm not judging it because uh, I don't need it. But off the puck, it's a four strength. Nice, pleasant scent. And like I was saying, it smells like a. Uh, Something I wore back in high school. Very fresh smelling. I like it. It's a great scent. Jennifer Martin always does great scents. Along with uh, Frank at Strike Gold Shave and 
they always do great sets. And I appreciate everybody that col collaborated on this uh, project here. And this soap uh, benefits Doctors Without Borders, which is a great cause, guys. That's awesome. He just won't stay still, so I have to put him down. Five ounces of soap, and uh, I can't wait to use Tallow Scream <laughs> once again. Hey, what are you doing now? You're trying to get in the bed, the... The toilet paper, leave that alone. It's not a toy. Here, you can play with the the, the wrapping here. Get in the aftershave here. Very well packaged. The aftershave. Here, here, hey! Here. Yeah, yeah. Honest Abe wasn't really uh, fragrant as well as, I mean, the when you popped the, the, the soap, the... It was very light at first, but it did pick up afterwards. So I, I might be wrong after I lather it. I'm not judging it like I was saying. I love the scent very much. But you know me, guys. I love strong scented soaps. And this is a, a medium scented, a little bit under light uh, scented the soap. But hopefully it picks up like I was saying in, the, in my, my shave. Let's crack open the uh, nicely sealed. Oh yeah, the aftershave is much better in fragrant uh, potency. Wow, yeah, that's beautiful. This is my type of scent, right in my wheelhouse. I don't have the scent uh, description off my hand for you guys right now, I apologize. I just got home, I'm tired. I just decided to do this uh, mail call real quick and show you what I got, what I'm gonna be using soon. But I'll be putting the description down below for the scent. But it smells beautiful. Thank you to Jennifer, Frank, I strike gold shave, and uh, Mikey, Tropical Tropical Adventures. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. Excuse me. And uh, thank you uh, to Sarasota, Mikey, and Jen Scent. Thank you guys for collaborating with this uh, for this awesome. Uh, Halloween release, almost Halloween release. Once again, I gotta smell this. <sighs> yeah, it's very light. I don't pick up very much strong scented uh, fragrance from the soap. I'm just being honest. It's pleasant yeah. though, I know it's there. I wish it was a little stronger, but it's all good. It's a beautiful scent. <laughs> Thank you very much. Like I was saying, hopefully, hopefully it picks up some more on uh, my shave. Thank you, my brothers. I appreciate you, every one of you. Thank you for joining me. I, I, I uh, hope you guys have a beautiful Friday and have a great weekend. And I'll be here soon for a shave. <laughs> Cheers. I'm going to be putting this little bad guy to sleep and, uh, I'll be back for the shave. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for joining me. Much love and uh, respect to every single one of you. Have a good night. El Chimigwana signing out. God bless you all.